first it was the smoking ban in public places. There was a crackdown on trans fats and soda. Now, New York State wants to ban salt in all restaurant cooking, claiming the white stuff causes all kinds of health problems. So we got a nanny state that's going to save lives, or should government keep out of the kitchen? Let's talk to two people about it. Michael Ferraro, executive chef at Delicatessen, a restaurant in New York's hip Soho area, and Dr. Eric Braverman, founder of Path Medical and author of Younger, Thinner You Diet. Let's start with the chef, Michael. So the government wants to cut down on health care costs and get you to stop using salt. What's the big deal? Well, you know, I think, it's, you know, salt is such an essential part of cooking. Uh, it's just, it's one of those ingredients that it's just, cooking is not the same without. And, you know, when I first heard this, I actually laughed about it. And I was like, you know, that's taking paint from an artist. Um, people choose, you know, they should have the right to choose when they have salt. And when you come into the restaurant, you're paying for the skill of the chef to be able to season the food for you. Right. Plus uh, the bill you know, would, that's uh, one of, right, and the bill would fine you $1,000 for each usage of salt. Are you, are you willing to give up your salt at that cost? Uh, you know what? No, I'll be one of these people who are going to fight for my career and fight for my passion for food to be able to provide the food that people want and love in my restaurant. Okay. Dr. Braverman, I just got okay. a couple words for you. Grits, mashed potatoes, french fries, <laughs> delivery systems for salt, sir. Yeah. We need salt to live. Yeah. Where is your humanity? <laughs> Where humanity? It's called uh, heart disease, stroke, obesity, and an epidemic of, of completely unfit, unhealthy Americans that are salt addicted and really using it as an antidepressant. Right. Let's, learn, let's learn how to cook finally with some spices and herbs and learn how to really feed our brain properly. Right. It's a great idea. It's going to make us healthier. We're all footing the bill for all the individuals with high blood pressure and stroke from but salt. But Dr. Braverman, this bill would allow salt shakers on restaurant tables. If salt's bad, Let's just make it illegal everywhere. Well, it's not simple that it's and, and a all ton of bad. other things There's also. There's always a role for salt, but nobody's suffering without nicotine inside the bars right now. So the bottom line is, we go to restaurants all the time in New York. You get charged a hundred bucks, and the people forgot how to cook. The Michael, chefs go don't ahead. Well, cook. well, people are paying. They just load people are paying to Michael. Salt, yield to the chef. People are paying because they choose obese. to have seasoned food that is cooked properly and prepared properly. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. Salted is an essential ingredient, and you know what? I don't really think that you, you understand what food would be like without salt. Well, it would be a life bland. Uh, uh, Dr. I'm, Braverman, so I got another you know, proposal for you, a, Dr. Braverman. What if the city decides Lipitor, I'm on Lipitor, you know, lowers my cholesterol, made the world safe for cheeseburgers. Doctor, we want to pass a law stopping you from prescribing Lipitor to guys like me. What do you say about that kind of a regulation, sir? Government's already paying all the medical bills. They have a right to go ahead and tell us In how fact, to live. In fact, sir, government never tells any doctor you, what to prescribe his drug for. You guys prescribe oh, they all label uses time, all the time. Actually, That's not correct, well, sir. Well, you know what? It's they a, do. They actually we live in a manipulate beautiful country all where sorts we have of medical choices. Uh, and if you uh, choose to regulate sodium in your diet, you can mm. choose that. Or if people mm. who love flavorful food, they choose that. But Dennis, That's do you hear the what the doctor is saying? Do you hear what the doctor's saying? Well, we're paying for it, so we have the right to tell people how to live their lives. That's the problem. When everybody's paying for everybody else and their health care, everybody thinks they can tell everybody else how to live their lives. Dr. That's Braverman. the downside of when they talk about expanding health care reform. Dr. Braverman, what do you say to that? Yeah. And we're I all say paying, that, so that we all we have need the right to, to learn choose. how to cook with spices and herbs and get the American answer my palate changed. And <laughs> Which we no do, point. we do. All right. Gentlemen, you know what? I think we're going to wrap it here. I appreciate you both being here. Love the Chef Whites. Glad you wore those. Thank you, and that's uh, going to be all for the show today. What do you think? Salt, Steve? Do you like salt? I like salt, and I, like I don't think the government too. ought to be banning it. Very salty street right. signs right after the break. We guarantee it.